What our role is, is we're actually negotiating to purchase the property from the landowner. We bring all the partners together and we've got four different partners. We've got the City of Hannibal, the Conservation Fund, the Iowa Natural Heritage Foundation, which is also playing a role, and then the Fish and Wildlife Service. And our role in that is to bring all the partners together and parcel out the different pieces to protect the property. The property itself is about 200 acres and it's nearly entirely forested. Um, the uh, property is actually on the southern side and within the boundaries, the city boundaries of the city of Hannibal. And this forested property, in the middle of that forested property is about 40 acres of land that's been disturbed at one time. It's actually originally was a, a surface mine, a, surf, a limestone surface quarry, but now it's, and then uh, during the late 1800s and early 1900s, they started mining underground. So about 40 acres of the property is an underground limestone quarry where they mined uh, powdered limestone for cement as well as for, uh, for, for pharmaceuticals. But the property now, after the abandonment of the mine in the 1960s, is nearly entirely forested. It's got a lot of trails on the property. And right next to it is uh, the municipality. It's the city limits or the city boundaries. And there's actually neighborhoods and, and industrial parks nearby. Instead of just shutting the property off to the public completely and creating a bat preserve that only researchers or invited guests would come to, in this case what we're doing is eliminating the negative impacts of people going into the mine itself and disturbing the bats, which is where the bats are living both in the summer and the winter. We're eliminating that by putting mine gates up and these mine gates allow bats to come out and people to stay out and then the bats can kind of go back. But the great thing about this project, the win of it, is this is right next to the downtown Hannibal and it's connected to their trail system so that people who are visiting Hannibal or residents of the city of Hannibal can come right into the property, use the recreational trails that will be developed for both hiking and biking. It's a win-win for, for both people and for bats. It's, it's an uh, uh, incredibly stressful project, but it's also top-notch fun. This is the kind of stuff we live for. What I hope is to be able to take my grandkids here someday and be able to stand at this entrance, be able to look down that corridor and, and see the mine, be able to sit here in the evening like we did last night and watch the bats come out and watch them come out in, you know, in the tens of thousands because I'm hoping that's what I'll be able to do someday.